Hey everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude. This is going to be my video to talk about the death of Paul Walker. Before I do get to that, I want to just say a quick goodbye to a couple of others that died earlier this year. And I've never got to make a video about them, even though I really wanted to. So very quickly, I just want to say rest in peace to James Gandolfini. I've seen some of the episodes of The Sopranos. He's so terrific. The movies this guy has done. And I heard in reality, he's just been such a nice person. He is a master of acting. I've just been so impressed by this guy's work. To see the guy gone, it's just so sad. So rest in peace to James Gandolfini. He will be missed. The other person is Corey Monteith. He is the guy from Glee. Now, I'm going to be honest. I hate Glee. I don't like the show. I've seen some episodes of it. I just was never really interested in it. The cast is good, but I just don't really like the show. Corey Monteith, I actually like the guy in Glee. He's very likable, but it's just so sad to see the guy die so young. And Leah Michelle stays strong. I know it's very tough. Rest in peace to Corey Monteith. We'll do it for you. As you guys could probably notice, I haven't made a video in nearly a week. And that was because I was out of town visiting my family for Thanksgiving break. It was me, my mom, and my brother. We were at the bus station. I was actually on the iPad because as soon as I got on the bus station, I went on the iPad. You know, I checked my Facebook. And then I read articles all of a sudden that Paul Walker was doing some charity event and he and a friend I believe by the name of Roger his uh, friend Roger he was the one driving and supposedly he was losing control of the driving and so they crashed to a tree and the car was on fire and the friend Roger and Paul Walker died now everyone is is focusing on Paul Walker because he's so famous. No one is really mentioning the driver. I want to say rest in peace to the driver. Yes, this video is going to be about Paul Walker because he's the actor I know most about, but I want to say rest in peace to Roger as well. I don't know the last name, but I just, I just remember the friend driving with Paul Walker was Roger and rest in peace to him. I don't know who he is, but he is a human being and his death is just as tragic as Paul Walker's death. So Roger, rest in peace to you, dude, and I hope you're in a better place now. It was just so surprising and just so sad to hear that he died. Couldn't believe that the first thing I actually read once I got on my bus to go back in my home, Paul Walker died at the age of 40 years old. Paul Walker, I'm personally more well known of him with the Fast and Furious movies. I know he's done other movies. I know that they're going to probably do something with Fast and Furious 7. I'm not going to talk about it because for me to say, with Paul Walker dead, what's going to happen with Fast and Furious 7 now? No, I'm not going to be those people. That's the last thing I'm even thinking about, to be honest. Paul Walker is more important than Fast and Furious 7. He was a really good actor. I enjoyed Paul Walker. He had good charisma. You could tell he had a lot of fun with his films. And I do hope to have a chance to watch more films from Paul Walker in the future. By the way, I normally have tributes whenever a famous actor passes away. But, you know, there's this rule with music. So that's why, that's why for now on, I'm just going to talk about that person and why I'm going to miss them. Instead of doing that whole music with pictures because I don't want to break the rules. So this is going to be different now. He was really awesome in the Fast and Furious films. Even though I don't care that much for the first four films. I love Fast Five. I thought Fast and Furious 6 was outstanding. Even though I didn't care for the first four Fast and Furious films. I thought Paul Walker did a really good job in them. The guy I hear he's so nice. Like for Pete's sakes he did a charity event. And at least he died doing a final good thing before he left this planet. So I hope Paul Walker's in a better place. I'm sure he is. 
for what I've heard, the guy is super nice and he is just very awesome. He's very generous and he looks that way. Not only do I think he's a great actor, but he looks like a great man and he's worked very hard. I've seen the pictures of his memorial and I know Tyrese Gibson was even there at his memorial and I even read a letter that his daughter wrote. I don't know the daughter's name, but there was a personal letter saying how Paul Walker was her real life hero. It had me tearing up by the way. It's just so heartbreaking to see this guy go. And even if I was not a fan of Paul Walker, I would still be sad because famous or not, he is a human being and anyone who's famous or not famous, their tragic death is always going to be tragic. So rest in peace to Paul Walker and rest in peace to the driver, Roger. Rest in peace to both of you guys. I don't want to be disrespectful saying my Tiger Power thing. Subscribe to my channel, like and share this video, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching and have a great week you guys. Bye.